How to control your emotional eating and depression problems. Emotional eating and depression. This video shows the link between emotional eating and depression problems, and how to control them with some practical solutions. Do you, or do you know anyone, who suffers with negative moods and emotional eating problems, but doesn't know what to do? Depression is an emotion that's experienced by just about everyone. You can feel upset or dejected because of some event or situation, or you're despondent because of something you perceive as negative in your life, possibly caused by your own behaviors. Such depression can exist for a number of reasons, and with most people, it's usually short-lived. However, in today's society, people are conditioned to think that anything that makes them experience disappointment or a lack of anything in their life equates to depression. It doesn't. Most find a way to move past their negative feelings, either by engaging in something that gives them joy or literally takes their mind away from their negative feelings, and so the negative feelings fade away. This video explores four key questions to help determine if there's a genuine connection between emotional eating and depression, as follows. Question number one. What happens when you're depressed and you eat uncontrollably? Question number two. Is emotional eating a sign that you're depressed or a cause of depression? Question number three. Is emotional eating and depression related at all? Question number four. Is there a causal relationship or is this just a coincidence? Before we share answers to these and other questions, feel free to leave a comment below this video. And if you're serious about watching this and other videos on our channel, please subscribe and kindly click the grey bell icon to be notified of future videos being uploaded to the Natural Health Guys channel. The four questions posed can be answered by looking at two aspects of the emotional eating and depression relationship, being the problem and the suggested solutions, as follows. Number 1. The problem with emotional eating, a cause and symptom of depression. There is a physical link between your gut and your brain, that acts as a two-way street. It's called the vagus nerve. When you have an upset stomach, it can put you in a negative mood. And when you're feeling down, it can give you an upset stomach. It always reminds me of a saying from an old friend many years ago, who appeared to be looking a little sad, and was asked. Has the bottom fallen out of your world? And he replied with. No, the world's just fallen out of my bottom. Consider the following points. 1. Your emotional state when you're eating to improve your mood or celebrate a joyful feeling is never going to be at a normal healthy level. 2. After gorging on unhealthy food, you'll likely experience frustration, regret, self-hatred, an upset stomach, and even depression. 3. This self-doubt as to why you can't control your eating can evolve into worry, anxiety and depression. 4. Such negative moods and feelings develop because you could be depressed over your financial situation, a lack of control in your life, a failed relationship, or some other perceived loss or failure. 5. Your brain then remembers when you ate certain comfort foods and junk foods in the past, and that the chemicals in those foods caused a release of feel-good hormones. 6. An immediate hunger signal is then sent from your brain, encouraging you to locate and eat the unhealthy comfort foods which create a positive, short-term emotional feeling. So, in these types of scenarios, your emotional eating was caused by your depressed or negative mental state. 7. Emotional eating sometimes occurs when you're feeling good. For example, you turn to comfort foods to reinforce a wonderful event in your life that has caused positive emotions. When you eat this way, you tend to overeat unhealthy comfort and junk food which is pro-inflammatory processed food, such as at weddings, parties and at restaurants. 8. Either way, whether you're feeling good or bad, you still subject your body to a lot of damage. Number 2. Possible solutions to battle the emotional eating and depression relationship. The next time you're feeling in a negative or sad mood, make a conscious effort to address your feelings, by undertaking the following. 1. Think about why you're feeling down and depressed, and be aware of how your mind and body is reacting with regard to your feelings towards food and eating. 2. At this point, implement some change to your current mental state to avoid the temptation to reach for the biscuits, the ice cream and the chocolates. 3. For example, go for a walk or a cycle ride and get some fresh air. You can even plug into some positive mental attitude audios and recordings on your mobile phone, whilst getting the physical benefits at the same time. 4. Start nurturing a gratitude mindset. This will help you look at your surroundings in a more positive light, 
whilst getting the physical exercise that helps get the happy hormones to be released by your brain to improve your mood and feelings. Many people write a gratitude journal on a daily basis, as it helps put them in a positive mindset to help deal with the various challenges of work and life for the day ahead. Summary and Conclusion When you realize you're eating in response to an emotion, don't beat yourself up about it. Acknowledge what's happening, and congratulate yourself that you're now aware of how you've reacted. And also realize, to further enhance your new positive feeling, that this is something you can quickly overcome. Consider this, a great antidote to those who constantly claim to be feeling depressed is to go and work with a local charity, and to experience what people are really struggling with in their lives. There's a number of benefits to be obtained by undertaking something like this. 1. It gets you out of your existing, depressing environment, and into one that's new, with the opportunity to meet new people who usually have a community spirit mindset that focuses on helping people who are in a worse state than you are. 2. It helps to understand what being grateful means, in relation to your own situation. 3. It helps get your body moving, with all the physical and mental benefits that generates, and 4. It significantly lowers the temptation to reach for the comfort food that damages your emotional and physical health. We hope you found this video, how to control your emotional eating and depression problems, helpful and of interest. So please feel free to share with people you think will also find this video worth watching. And don't forget to leave a comment or ask a question in the comments section below this video. To get more videos like this one, become an exclusive subscriber of this channel by clicking on the subscribe button in the bottom right corner of this video. And click the grey bell icon to get notified of when the next video is uploaded. If you'd like more information about the secrets of eating disorders, check out the other videos in this series by clicking on the end screen coming up. And finally, many thanks for watching.